John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, this is John Alzheimer. Today I'm going to answer a viewer question. These are one of my favorite things to do, so if you have questions, drop them in the comment section below. I love answering viewer questions. And so today's question is actually a pretty good one. It's about kind of the credit repair industry and why it looks like it does. And specifically the question is, is why are there only three credit bureaus? And that's an interesting question. If you look at most other industries, there are tons and tons of players, you know, look at car manufacturers, clothing brands, airlines. If you look at, at almost any other industry, there are really just kind of almost countless competitors who, who play in the industry. In the world of consumer credit reporting, there are really three that matter, right? Equifax, which is based here in Atlanta, Experian, which is the U.S. headquarters, is based in Southern California, and TransUnion, which is based in Chicago. So the question is, well, why isn't there a fourth, fifth, sixth? Why aren't there 10 credit bureaus? You know, it's a reasonable question, right? How hard can it be to create a credit bureau? Well, that's the issue. The issue is creating a credit bureau from scratch really does take a, an enormous amount of time. And unfortunately, in today's get rich quick environment, really nobody would be patient enough to invest in creating a legitimate fourth competitor to the big three as they're called. And let me let me kind of walk you through some of the issues. So number one, you have to create the company and the structure of the company, which means you're gonna to have to be able to maintain and store and deliver literally hundreds of millions of reports in any given year, which means you're gonna to have to have the data in order to do so. Where does that data come from? Because if you think about what's on your credit report there, you know, your loans, your credit cards, stuff that's reported by servicers like mortgage servicers and student loan servicers. You have some public record information. All this stuff is what goes into creating your credit report. Well, all that stuff has to come from somewhere, right? Your credit bureaus just don't go out and get this information. This information is sent to them. It's sent to them by over 10,000 companies. So in order to create a credit bureau, not only do you have to actually build the repository where this information is going to go, but you also have to convince 10,000 companies to send that information to you. That's gonna take some time and they don't have to do it. They can say, you know what? We already send our information to three credit bureaus. We don't wanna send it to a fourth or a fifth, et cetera, et cetera. So in that respect, you may never be able to build a credit bureau even though you have the money to do so and the desire to do so. So that's number one. Let me give you an example of how difficult that is to convince companies to send information to you. It's currently 2022, and there are still companies that don't report to any credit bureau or companies that choose to only report to one of the three credit bureaus. And so even in 2022, it's not universal, meaning it's not universal that all companies report to credit bureaus. And also, if they do, they don't necessarily all report to all three. And that's because the system is voluntary. They can choose to report however they choose to report. There's no requirement for any company to report. In order to build a credit report that a lender is going to buy from you, you have to have enough information on it so that the lender can use it to make a valid lending decision. So even if you were to convince half of the 10,000 companies to report information to you, you're still going to have to turn around and sell these credit reports to some other company so they can use it to underwrite loans. And if they're cognizant of the fact that only half of the companies that furnish to the big three are reporting to your credit bureau, why in the world would they buy one of your credit reports when they know the information is lacking or incomplete relative to the credit reports of the big three? That doesn't seem to make good business sense. You could give those credit reports away and they still may not use them because the information may not even be reliable enough to make a decision based off of. Oh, and now there's credit scoring. You can't just force FICO to build a credit scoring model for you. That is a choice. Uh, it is a choice by FICO who they want to do business with, right? You can't force them. There's no law that requires them to build a credit report for you. And I can tell you that companies that build credit scoring systems are only going to do so if the data is voluminous and valid and accurate and complete enough to support 
an empirically derived and statistically and demonstrably sound credit score. You may not be able to do that for a decade. You may not have enough information to be able to do that for a decade. So my point, you see how I'm, I'm kind of being critical of this issue because it's just so difficult to do where, you know, we live in this era of disruption. Look at Uber and Lyft into the credit, to the cab industry. It's, you know, it's it's completely changed it. So it, it's not as if you can just, you know, build an app and all of a sudden have a credit bureau. So that's really why we only have three. What's the easiest way to build a credit bureau? To buy a credit bureau. That really is the, build, the easiest way to build one, just to buy an existing one. So if you have any other questions about this, drop them in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.